The opening scene features the maniacal, planet-eating Unicron that attacks the homeworld of the Maximals, an advanced race of Transformers. Unicron sends his minions, called the Terrorcons, led by Scourge, in order to retrieve the Transwarp Key, which can open portals through space and time and can help him consume planets faster. As soon as they land on their target planet, they are confronted by the Maximals, Ape Link, Primal, Air Razor, Rhinox, and Cheetor. Now that Chat G GPT exists, everyone is a Cheetor. Upon battling some Terracons, the Maximals realize that they aren't strong enough to defeat them. As a result, Ape Link orders the other Maximals to escape the planet with the Transwarp Key, while he decides to stay back and sacrifice himself to buy them some time. Following this, the Maximals, now under the command of Primal, flee to Earth while Ape Link is eventually killed. The scene then cuts to the year 1994 in Brooklyn, where we are introduced to an ex-military electronics expert, Noah Diaz, who lives with his mother, Brianna, and little brother, Chris. Turns out, Chris is suffering from an illness, due to which the family is struggling to pay for his medication. Noah attends several job interviews, but every time he gets rejected, due to his bad reference from his previous job. One day, he confides his problem in his friend, Reek, and asks for help. In response, the latter suggests that he steal a Porsche that is being kept in a company's garage so that he can sell it, heeding this terrible advice. Noah manages to sneak into the company's premises and heads towards the targeted vehicle. On the other hand, a museum intern, Elena Wallace, finds a peculiar and ancient statue of a falcon bearing the maximal symbol. Her boss claims that it's from ancient Egypt, but Elena doesn't believe so. As a result, she decides to carry out some secret research on her own. She uses a device to look further into the statuette, but accidentally breaks it open to reveal the transwarp key hidden inside. The key immediately releases an energy pulse that is detected by Autobot leader Optimus Prime. He then summons the other Autobots, including RC, Bumblebee, and Mirage. Here, it's revealed that Mirage is in the disguised version of the same vehicle, which Noah is trying to break into. Just then, a security guard catches Noah, which prompts Mirage to start driving himself out of the place. The guy is left in complete shock and is unable to comprehend what's going on. Soon after, they're pursued by the police, ensuing an intense chase across the city. At one point, the police get closer, but Mirage uses his illusion powers to get away. He then brings Noah to an abandoned building and transforms into his Autobot form, which yeah, freaks the boy out. Soon after, Optimus and RC join them at this meeting rendezvous point, but they aren't pleased to see a human there. He's not even as cool or controversial as Shia LaBeouf. Nevertheless, they decide to deal with Noah later so that they can prioritize the retrieval of the key. Turns out it is the only way they can return to their home homeworld, Cybertron. But for this, they require the human's help, because it's impossible for them to break into the museum. As a result, they turn towards Noah, who initially hesitates. In order to convince him, Mirage shows his ability to take the form of any car that he wants to sell. He promises to allow Noah to sell him before they split up. Plus, Optimus says, Do it, or we'll kill you. With this assurance, Noah accompanies the Autobots to the museum. On the way, Mirage recounts a sad story about the Autobots, saying that they've been stuck on Earth for thousands of years just because they believed that the Transwarp Key had been lost. Now, their hope is risen once more, and they are looking forward to finally returning home. As they approach the museum, Mirage takes the form of a garbage truck and gains entry inside. Following this, Noah sneaks into the museum and startles Elena, who thinks he's an intruder. She tries to run away, but he manages to calm her down. He then explains that the key belongs to extraterrestrial beings, but she, of course, doesn't believe this and thinks that Noah's just another bath salts addict off the street. In the midst of this, the terror cons, drawn by the key's signal, arrive on Earth and launch an immediate attack on the Autobots outside the museum. Their attack blasts off a portion of the building's wall, finally making Elena believe that Noah is right. Or perhaps she just inhaled some secondhand bath salts off of him. Scourge then dispatches his spider-like pet to retrieve the key, while he and his fellow terror cons fight the Autobots. They appear to be too powerful as the Autobots are clearly unable to match their strengths. Despite this, they try their best to buy some time for Noah and Elena to run away with the key. Sadly, Bumblebee is impaled and killed in the process. Guess he's not getting a sequel. Scourge then approaches the humans and seizes the Transwarp key from them. But before the Terracons can finish off the rest of the Autobots, Air Razor swoops into their rescue. Seeing this,
this, Scourge orders his group to retreat as they've already achieved what they need. In the aftermath, Airazor introduces herself as one of the Maximals who have been hiding on Earth for millennia. She asserts that they still have a chance to save their worlds because what Scourge retrieved earlier is only half of the Transwarp key. The key had been split into two to ensure double safety. However, she doesn't know where the other half is hidden. In response, Elena steps forward, asserting that it might be hidden in a temple in Peru based on her thorough research. Airazor requests her to lead them there, which she agrees to. Before setting off for Peru, Noah returns home to see Chris. During this, Mirage shows up and makes his presence obvious. Noah pretends that they're work friends, but the boy is smart enough to sense something amiss. As a result, he explains the entire scenario to Chris, including his mission to retrieve the key from Peru. After understanding the stakes, Chris makes Mirage promise that he'll keep his brother safe. Please keep him off the salts. It's clearly affecting all of us. The following morning, the gang meets Stratosphere, an Autobot that morphs into a rickety old plane and takes all of them to Peru. On the way, Noah tells Elena that they should destroy the key, citing that the world will automatically be saved without it. Hearing this, she expresses her concern for the Autobots, as they would be stuck on Earth forever. But he insists on prioritizing Earth. Upon landing in Peru, they are received by another Autobot, Wheeljack, who leads them to the temple. As they approach their location, they face a problem. The entire city is shut down due to a huge ongoing festival. Since the Autobots can't pass through the crowd, Noah and Elena volunteer to go on ahead. They intend to blend with the parade and make their way to the temple on the other side. Before they depart, Mirage equips Noah with a wrist device for self-defense. Don't use it though. It could kill people. After this, they swiftly maneuver through the crowd and soon arrive at their destination. There, Elena recognizes the similar Transformer symbols and aligns them in the same direction. This unlocks a door, revealing an underground cavern, as if no one has ever found this before. The two then slowly make their way inside. By this time, the Terracons seem to have tracked them again. Scourge then dispatches his pet to pursue the two humans and retrieve the key. A short while later, Noah and Elena come across a crypt where the key was supposed to be. However, they're shocked to find that it's empty. Nevertheless, they do find some inscriptions that Elena notes down before leaving. Just then, they are ambushed by Scourge's pet, prompting them to make a run for it. Hearing the disturbance, the Autobots rush to assist, but they are pursued by the Terracons. Enraged, Optimus vows revenge for Bumblebee by fighting Scourge, while the other two Terracons, Battletrap and Nightbird, chase Mirage and Wheeljack. Soon after, Air Razor joins Optimus for support, but suffers severe attacks from Scourge. This ends the chase, as the Autobots and Air Razor manage to escape narrowly. Autobots, pat my ass. Simultaneously, Noah and Elena exit the cavern after knocking down the pet with his wrist device. The two then end up in a jungle, where they are confronted by Primal and the other Maximals. The Autobots show up to defend the humans, triggering a standoff between the two parties. But before the fight can begin, Air Razor arrives and tells Primal that they're allies. It is at this point that Primal discloses that they moved the other half of the key to keep it safe. Following this, the Maximals lead everyone to a village, housing a human tribe whom they've been staying with for millennia. The tribe absolutely loves having them around for their ayahuasca ceremonies. Afterwards, Primal shows Optimus a raw energon that can be used to revive Bumblebee, but it requires a large surge of energy. In the meantime, Elena tells Noah that they shouldn't destroy the key. She compares him to Optimus, as both of them are carrying the responsibilities of saving their respective homeworlds. The next morning, Elena awakens to a strange noise and finds Air Razor fully corrupted by the dark energy that Scourge inflicted upon her during the earlier battle. She then begins attacking her own group, while the other Maximals try to subdue her. At one point, she instructs Primal to kill her because she's no longer able to control herself. With no other choice, Primal reluctantly deactivates her system, ultimately resulting in her demise. After this, Primal entrusts the Transwarp key to Noah, urging him and Elena to run away. But before they can do that, they're ambushed by the terror cons. In the ensuing confrontation, Noah caught key with his wrist to Optimus pleads with him not to do so. Please don't, you little bitch. He reasons that it's the only way for them to return home. Noah thinks for a while and eventually agrees. Just then, Scourge appears out of nowhere and steals the key. He then reassembles the two halves and directs a tower over a volcano to summon Unicron. Using the key, they proceed to open a portal above the earth, which Unicron will soon pass through. Back at the village, Optimus and Noah realize their mistake. They were fighting for their own 
benefit rather than working as one. Primal then emphasizes the necessity of a code to disable the key and shut the portal. In response, Elena claims to have the code that she uncovered during her research. Following this, the Autobots and Maximals opt to engage the Terracon army in battle, while Noah and Elena plan to sneak into the central antenna and deactivate the key. Now, with renewed determination and courage, our heroes charge for battle. Witnessing their arrival, Scourge deploys his Terracon army and a swarm of pet scorpions to impede their progress. As planned, Optimus and Primal lead the team against the incoming horde of enemies, while Mirage helps Noah and Elena in finding an entry point to the central antenna. An intense battle ensues, but with each passing second, Unicron is getting closer to Earth. Amidst the one-on-one -on -one confrontation with Mirage, Scourge discovers Noah and drags him out of the tunnel, leaving the responsibility to Elena. He attempts to kill the boy, but Mirage uses his body to shield him, keeping his promise. Before passing away, Mirage transforms his damaged body into a powered exosuit for Noah, enabling him to continue fighting with it. This isn't a car, I can't sell this, says Noah. Eventually, energy waves generated from the key charge the Energon in the valley, which brings Bumblebee back to life. He then promptly enters the battlefield and helps the Autobots and Maximals in turning the tide. The first thing he does is take down Nightbird by tearing her to pieces, and then goes for the others. Meanwhile, Noah struggles to battle Scourge alone until Optimus comes into support. The two then join forces and gain the upper hand against the villain. Elsewhere, Elena reaches the central antenna and proceeds to enter the code, but before she can do so, Scourge quickly blasts the control system, thwarting her attempt to shut down the portal. This enrages Optimus so much that he dismembers Scourge before ultimately ripping his head off. Suck it, Scourge. Following this, he makes a brave decision to risk his life and destroy the key, despite being aware of its consequences. As he does so, a massive explosion occurs, forming a vortex that starts pulling everything in. Even Optimus is nearly drawn in, but Noah and Primal manage to hold him back in the nick of time. The vortex then absorbs all the remaining Terracon army and leaves Unicron stranded outside Earth. Now that the threat is finally neutralized, the group celebrates their victory. In the aftermath, the Autobots, who are now unable to return to Cybertron, proclaim Earth as their new home and vow to continue protecting it alongside the Maximals and their human allies. A few days later, Noah goes for another job interview, where he sees the news of Elena receiving recognition for discovering the temple in Peru. Inside the interview room, he meets an agent named Burke, who appears well aware about Noah being in Peru and working with the Transformers. The agent then extends an offer for Noah to join the secret military organization, G.I. Joe, even guaranteeing that Chris's medical expenses will be covered. Noah is very grateful for this and thanks him wholeheartedly. We're gonna make a ton of money by crossing over these franchises, sir. After the interview, he watches Burke entering a secret room filled with advanced vehicles, gadgets, and top secret items. In a mid-credits scene, Noah is seen repairing Mirage using junk Porsche parts. When Reek visits him, he claims that it's a total waste of time, but Noah proves him wrong by asking Mirage to transform in front of his friend. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching. Preview.